Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you Top Link, a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering how do you actually start using TapLink here. Now before we proceed on showing you how to use TapLink here, we first have to discuss what is TapLink. Where TapLink is a platform where in this case you'll be able to create your own uh, location for basically sharing different links. Now instead of sharing just one link in your uh, profile or in your bio in other platforms, well you could actually just share your TapLink account here and you'll be able to showcase different links made Fee for your blo personal blogging site, your YouTube account, Instagram account, or Facebook account. Well, you could actually le uh, link that in the uh, tap link uh, creation process. But in this case, how do we start using them? Well, to start using them, we first have to go to their website, which is going to be taplink.at. Now, under taplink, you should be able to see the sign-in button at the top right here, but they also have the option here that says pricing. So if you want to learn more about the pricing they, have, they offer right now, so they have the free the pro and business now for the free it's actually called basic so you have the option to pre-design teams unlimited links text blocks page views statistics shared access and qr code but if you're going to use the pro you have additional features that you could access so that includes maps price this custom html social media pixel support schedules way of blocks and a lot more now, especially if going if you're going to use the uh, business option here you'll be able to access more features as well but for now we just want to test the waters here and use the basic one so let's go ahead and click on get started for free and this should actually open up a new tab or new page now from here we need to sign up or sign in now in this case you can go ahead and enter your email address here and hit on continue and also you have to read the uh, terms of use and privacy policy here it is required with any platform that you're signing up so that you'll know what is allowed and not allowed just in case something goes wrong you'll be able to protect yourself now in this case let's go ahead and choose whatever here so by the way I also have the option here to sign in using Google as well as Apple or Facebook but for now I'm going to use my Google account here to make things a lot easier for me but if you're going to continue this manually, you need to enter your details, your name, and any of those details in here. Now, from here, you should be able to start creating your account so or your page. Now, in this case, how do we actually start creating it? So, we have three uh, type of uh, certain uh, stages here. So, we have the choose template, modify page, and publish, which is something really, really easy because we just need to choose a template, edit it, and you'll be able to publish it and share this to your other accounts. Now in this case, you have the option to create an empty template here, which in this case, you'll be uh, starting from scratch, but they also have existing templates that you could use here as well. So maybe I want to use an already existing template here. So maybe I want to use this template here. So let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, as you can see, this is going to be what it's going to look like. So by default, it has the about me, my blog, online store, and contact me section. So if you want to use that, just click on choose, and we should be able to start using this specific template here. Now, you have the option to edit a block by clicking on it, and you also have the option to change some of the uh, places or location of the block itself when you actually drag the section icon here. Now, if you want to add a new one, just click on add block here. So for now, let's just start editing it. Now first, we want to maybe change your picture here. So just click on the picture section and you should be able to upload an image. Now this is just an example. I'm just going to upload this image here. Click on open. And from here, we should be able to change an image or choose an image that we want to use. So for example, this is just an example. I'm using a render photo here. So choose this one. And from here, just click on save changes at the bottom here. And you should be able to change the avatar size as well. So maybe I want to set this uh, as my avatar size it's in here so what we need to do is we, we need to go ahead and click on save changes and from here that should actually add or I'll basically change our changes now if you want to add your brand name so maybe I want to say my brand name is going to be Randy uh, this uh, this name here also you also have the option change the font itself some styles into it if you want to make it center make it bold if you want to make it italic if you want to make it more stylish and yeah if you want to click on more actions here you have the duplicate archive or delete option as well now also you have the settings here like if you want to hide this block or vertical indent or block name here as well you also have this section here which includes general your background and your text itself but for now let's just click on save changes to apply our changes and you see we were able to add that 
Now in this case, if you want to edit your description text here, you same thing, you'll be able to do the same things here. So maybe I want to say I want to add an underline here, click on save changes. That should apply our changes. Now in this case, if you want to edit this specific block here, you should be able to edit this one. So this is going to be a button. So we have the content here. So what I do, this is going to description, the name of the current block itself, the website. So this one is actually pretty important. So we want to uh, basically uh, add a website here. Like for example, if you have a specific about me page that you already have, well, you could actually link it in here. So we have the internal page option as well here, but you need the business rate plan here to use this one. So you need to have a website here, but you could also change this to a different one. Like for example, send SMS, call, save contact, go to block, all of those, all of those basic things. Now also you have the design here if you want to change the color. So maybe I want to change this to a different one, make it more in the uh, indigo color here. And uh, yeah. You can change the head, header color, subtitle color, all of those hearings, and even change the transparency as well if you want to. Now settings here, same thing, you should be able to change a few things like hide block, vertical indent, and set block name if you want to. Now I have sections here, which in this case, you should be able to uh, uh, add or new sec uh, change your sections here. If so you want to turn this off, you just click on to set section off. Add-ons is additional features that you could use, but this is kind of advanced, so let's just skip this for now. We also have the statistics here. So if you have enough data, like for yourself, if you want to view how, how many people actually click on this specific link, you should be able to see it. But for now, let's just click on Save Changes, and uh, it should actually uh, apply your changes. So if there are going to be errors in the form, I would suggest you to visit whatever you uh, have here. So website, so this is just an example. I'm going to add google.com here. And from here, when we actually click on this one uh, on the uh, publish section, you should, you should be able to uh, view google.com here. Now, if you want to add a new block here, so by the way, as you can see, when I actually press and hold on this block here, I should be able to reposition certain things here or even add a new block. Does this a separator here? If you want to add a new one, like for example, a video, image carousel, FAQ, but all, all the things that has a pro here are going to be for the pay plans. So if you want to use them, make sure that you have the pro one. So if you want to add a, for example, this is an example, maybe I want to add a FAQ here. And from here, let's just say, what's uh what's my name and we want to add this one here and just click on save changes now they also have the sign the settings options here so if you want to do that you could go ahead and change those now whenever they actually click on the plus button here they should be able to see that but for now uh since we added all the basic things here so if you want to edit other things you could go ahead and do that and change things so in this case let's just go ahead and publish this specific option we have so in this case, it needs to be completed. All of these should be complete. So I just deleted uh, some of them. So go to the publish page here. And as you can see, we have the publishing uh, the page option. So we have the QR code here, but in this case, uh, we just need to download the file here. Or if you want to use a square one, you could go ahead and do that as well. So we also have the option here for the link itself. So you have the top link, username, or username tap link here. So you could choose or specify the format that you have. So maybe I want to use tap link here, the basic one here. And the username, I'm going to say I'm going to be this one. And from here, we have the website widget as well. So if you want to add a website widget into your personal website, you could go ahead and add that as well. So for now, let's just click on the option here that says connect. And data successfully saved. And as you can see, we could now share this to TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter, or share on Instagram. So if you want to share this uh, via link, just click on link here. Or if you want to use Facebook here, you need to log in into your account. So I just need to, uh, it's going to show you how to do this. So edit profile, go to uh, the edit profile section, add links. And you should uh, be able to add this specific link here. When we go back into our new tab here, as you can see, this is our, our link. So once you actually press that, we should be able to see our profile or page here on tab link. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.